It's your girl, Madison Sky Makeup, coming back to you with another YouTube tutorial. Thank you guys for joining me today. This is the look that we are going to create. Uh, so if you're interested, definitely stay tuned. Don't forget to uh, comment, like, and subscribe below. And make sure you hit that alert button, that bell button, so you can know every time I upload another YouTube tutorial. So without further ado, let's jump into this tutorial. I am going to use my Nurturing Force, what I've been using lately to prime my face. It's a white little, my size two. And as I've said before, it reminds me of the milk of magnesia we used to use. Some of us still use it. I find myself not getting so oily and my makeup lasting for quite a bit of time. So I really enjoy it. So if you're looking for an alternative, definitely check out Nature and Force. So for foundation, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Super Stay Foundation Stick. Dropped and completely shattered and demolished. My press powder. It's okay. It's okay, people. So get on with this tutorial. And I don't normally cover the face with found well my eyes with foundation because I normally go in with a um, a paint pot to apply my shadows, but since it's gonna be such a neutral tone type of eye with maybe just a little smoke around the eye line, you wanna blank out the eyes. So, all right, to highlight the face, I'm gonna go in with my um, Graftobium palette. I'm gonna be these. I'm gonna go back in and double conceal. Do you know what I like to do? I'm using my colors deep and sand tan. The way those colors come together and they just just highlight that, ooh, you see it. It just does something different for me and it stays in place all day. And we're gonna go ahead and set that highlight with the MAC Studio Fix Powder. I'm going to go in with my foundation, the Maybelline Superstay Foundation Stick in the color 380. If I didn't say the shade that I used uh, for my all over color, it's the 360 mocha color. I'm contouring with this. The brush. Remember the Blend out your contour color into your hairline. So 
same brush that I use for my highlight. And choose that to go down the side of my nose to start the contour. Do you see the snatchery that is taking place at this very moment? Yeah, that's what a good contour do for you. I have you thinking your sinus is all messed up. You can breathe. Mm. Go in with a little derma blend and further set that under eye. What am I using? Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. Okay, moving on to the brows. So go ahead and brush them babies up. And because, you know, I've been lighter these past few days as far as hair color choices, I've decided that I really like to lighten up the brow. So I'm using this uh, Black Radiance Contour Palette and I'm using the color, con the contour color because it's a reddish color. But I do still start off at the tip of the brow with a pencil to kind of define the shape. Okay, so now we're gonna clean up under the brows. Hey guys, my computer cut off, so off camera, what I did was um, go ahead and put a little bit of the ColourPop Brow Gel on my brows, brush those up. I blended in the concealer under the eye, and I brushed off the translucent powder that we placed on the highlighted parts with the concealer that we did earlier. So now we're going to go ahead and get started on the eyes, and we are going to use, it's no big surprise, my favorite palette, the Morphe Dare to Create palette. Um, I, I, I think I show you this quite often, but the colors in this palette are uh, amazing. Love it. So we are going to stay right around here and use uh, the browns and just pretty much apply that all over the lid. Right into those colors and just apply it over. Now that we've done that, that, that's pretty much it for the color. That's it. So we're going to take a black coal liner. This one is the Maybelline Lasting Drama uh, Waterproof Gel Pencil. And we are just going to place that at the, at the waterline. This thing is so creamy, y'all. If y'all are looking for a dope, affordable black liner this one is it this, this, this one is it we're going to use a little smudger brush can you see this can you see this yeah something like that and we're just going to smudge it out and please take your time with this don't brush it and it's going to look a little messy and that's how it's supposed to look. It's just going to be like a sultry type of light smoky eye. When you get to the corner, you know, just kind of wing it up a little
And you want to use a brush that's like stiff, like the bristles are stiff. Now, although it's not that many colors, it takes a minute to get this hair liner to, to be diffused and smoked out and look appropriate enough to say you finished, okay? So take your time. And if you don't mind taking a small little tapering brush and going back over that color, the black with the browns that you just to diffuse it and kind of blend it in. Yeah. All right, I'm going to pop on a good focus, focus lash. I'm just going to pop them on for sure. Okay. For sure. So now we're going to go under the eye and we're going to add this same gel liner and smoke out the bottom. Because my eyes are kind of big, I like to bring down the smoke a little bit further. Gonna take that small brush that we used earlier and go under the eye with the brow. set the contour we want to use the black radiance contour palette dry cosmetics Highlighter, which is kind of a rose gold color looking highlighter. Mm. It's actually an eyeshadow color out of the Morphe palette. I think it's called Vibrant Big Minute Day Eyes. Espresso liner by NYX. Line the lips. Okay. So that's the NYX Espresso pencil with the dose of colors. Can you not? And I'm going to top it off with. Uh, the makeup Shayla Neat Free Gloss. Now 
I did not forget my bottom lashes. I just do that because I don't want my mascara to run. So after you have applied your setting spray, I'm gonna go in with my big shot mascara and get to those bottom lashes. So. Hey guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I love spending time with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And um, don't forget, click that like button. You ain't got nothing else to do. Okay, click it, click, click, subscribe. And uh, I'll definitely see you on the next video. Until next time, bye. Hey guys, so this is definitely the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this time. Uh, spin it.